you say other beings are suffering, it seems almost sacrilegious to say they are not. I am not saying they are not, I'm not saying anything. I am asking you, go to your own sufferer first. Start first with finding the sufferer in you. Go to this place. See if you can find the sufferer in you, beyond merely a projection. If it exists, you can say, this is it, I've got it now. This is where the suffering is really happening here. And this is the one who is being punctured. Yeah? Something is hitting. But this is the one, this is the victim of the, all of this. This is a suffering here, and therefore now I can know the suffering in all the others. It's here. So you first take a look at this point, you go to this point. Find the sufferer. Not, not knowledge about the sufferer. Go to the sufferer itself. You see? Don't just go to the cross, go to the one on the cross. Be in there, find it, this thing. Hmm? And there's no no conclusion. I'm not speaking with a conclusion. Open question. Go to this place of the suffering and find the sufferer. Don't talk about it. Go there. And introduce the sufferer. Because a lot of things are going to prevent you from going in. It's like I don't want to I don't want to take the risk to even find that the sufferer is a myth. Because the suffering is enough is strong. I don't want to maybe I'll be making a mistake to find that uh, something that I don't want to find. I want to see, because what I'm seeing um, it needs me to testify to its cruelty and to its carnage. And if I change my view, it will suffer on without me. And I am part of this. I belong here. I want to do something about this. Okay? What is your standpoint? You are here in satsang, and opportunities have come to you. Go to the place of this suffering in you. Find the sufferer in you. Is it tangible? Go, look. You say, other beings are suffering. It seems almost sacrilegious to say they are not. I am not saying they are not. I'm not saying anything. I am asking you, go to your own sufferer first. Listen, in finding this out, eh, you are looking to find, where is that suffering entity in myself first? So I can say I know it in all the others. Even if it is not found, it does not kill compassion. That is the first thing. Eh? Finding that it, there is not this, you cannot put the finger on the sufferer. Eh? There is a sense of suffering. Really analyze it. Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it. Eh? Because there is so much knowledge arising out of the unseen. Hmm? The fear of and the projection and the growth in the dark. And I say, take a look at it. Look at it. Okay? Hmm? In coming to seeing, it does not kill compassion. It does not make you selfish. You don't go about saying, well, it's all an illusion, so it doesn't matter. This is not what you will feel. Eh? That's also an aspect of mine. Perhaps you'll feel even more intensely, but it's a difference. Hmm? You will not turn away. You will not turn away. I don't trust that you will turn away. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's all unreal anyway. Can I have my eggs and sausages? Hmm? Who burnt my sausages? That's very real. <laughs> eh? Your sausage is very real. Oh, you, uh, you overcook my sausages, but the rest of the world, you know, it's not real. Hmm? So there is something not consistent there. You see. So it's not the saying of this. You have a unique opportunity to look inside your own being. Hmm? And this is compassion already. This is compassion, and with this seeing, this insight, this direct experience. Hmm? then something will become an instrument in service to that.